the zone. Dylan, it's unbelievable. Steve Martin is coming to town. I think we need to try to get him for an interview, yep. and I think we need to make another video. Do you remember, do you remember the John Cleese video? Well, I did it because the, the um, video was yeah. really, really excellent. I was just astonished at how good the timing was. And then I heard you were a stand-up comedian, so, oh, well, that's why the timing was so good. <laughs> it was Man. exceptional. Yeah. That was really great. Yeah, it was. But you know what? With Steve Martin, it's got to be better. It's got to be so good, he can't ignore it. You're right. Let's go. <laughs> Who the hell leaves a travel trunk in a radio station? Well, excuse me. All right, let's go. Hello, Mr. Martin. You, My name you should call him Steve. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Hi, Steve. My name is Jason Lamb. This is Dylan Willows. Together, we're the morning show on the Zone radio station in Victoria, BC. We would love to interview you when you're here in town as part of your tour with Edie Brickell and the Steep Canyon Rangers. I have been a huge fan of yours for over 35 years, and I can't tell you, I, I don't know what to say next. Well, tell them about your massive, ridiculous collection of memorabilia. I think that might be a bit, a bit silly. Okay, tell him you've got front row tickets to his show, and you've seen him live twice before. Uh, three times, actually. All right. Tell him you named your kid after him. Do you think he might think that's a bit weird? It is weird. But you did name Martin after him. Well, that, that is true. Hey, Marty. You should learn to play the banjo. That is such a hard chord. I, I don't know how he does it. He really is incredibly talented. Hey, why don't we go for a walk and brainstorm some ideas? Yeah, okay. All right. Why don't you tell them about how you became obsessed with comedy after your parents got you that record? Oh, really? Let's get small. Let's go. Or how you became a stand-up comedian because of him. You know, when I was a little kid, I actually used to make collages out of all the magazine articles and TV guide listings that had Steve Martin in them. Wow. You know, when I was 11 years old, I, uh, I wrote to that show, Thrill of a Lifetime, and I asked them if I could have dinner with Steve. And? Yeah, they never got back to me. You got it? So, what are we doing at a dentist's office now? It's another reference, Bill Arlott. Mm. And why are we holding hands? Maybe we don't have to make another video. Maybe we could just ask him. <laughs> yeah, right, we'll just ask him. Yeah. How do you suppose we're gonna do that? Hey, Steve! Hey, when you're in Victoria, why don't you come and do an interview with us? Hey, come on, Steve! It's okay, buddy. I don't know, man. We're, we're still missing something. If only, we, if only we could get somebody famous in this video. Somebody that actually knows Steve Martin. Cheer up, boys. There's, there's hope. The Zone at 91.3. Modern Rock.
Jason! Dylan! What have you done with my radio station?